We went fishing the other day and caught some beautiful channel cats and some not so beautiful mud cats, but we were not about to throw them back in the pond or let them go to waste, so I'm going to show you how you can make them edible. I soaked all of these fillets in salt water for 24 hours, and now we're going to remove this mud vein, which is what makes the fish taste dirty and muddy, believe it or not. And uh, once we do that, we wind up with two smaller pieces of fish, so it is easy to distinguish the channel cats from the mud cats once they're cooked. I was actually very surprised. They wound up tasting better than the channel cats, if you can believe that. Now that we have all of our fillets prepped, they still don't look quite as good as the channel cat fillets, but it is a huge improvement over what they were. Uh, I'm going to make some buttermilk here because I don't keep any on hand. Uh, and I just use a teaspoon or two of vinegar per cup of milk and let that set for 15 or 20 minutes. While we're waiting, we might as well make some hush puppies. And I like to use one part self-rising flour to three parts self-rising cornmeal. So that's pretty easy there, just a half a cup and then one and a half cups. And I just season it to taste. I use garlic powder, uh, black pepper. I use Tony Sacheries instead of salt. And then I throw in some crushed red pepper, mix all this together, and then give this a taste. If it needs anything, add something. If it doesn't, stop adding stuff. And then we're going to crack in one egg and then add milk until it is the consistency of wet sand or maybe just a little bit thicker. We do want this thick enough that it will stick to a spoon without falling off very easily because we don't need like liquidy batter here it doesn't need to be so thick that you could just like make rolls out of it and drop them in there but it does need to be thick enough to stick to your spoon now we can let our fish marinate in this buttermilk while we go and fry these hush puppies up your oil needs to be pretty hot uh, the way i like to check it is to actually just drop some hush puppy batter in it that's a great reason to start with hush puppies i oil my spoon just a little bit so that the batter slides off and then subsequent hush puppies are pre oiled when you drop them in there. It should start cooking basically as soon as they hit the oil. Um, they may want to stick to the bottom. You can just take your spider or whatever you're dipping these out with and kind of bump them a little bit and they should come up. And I like to cook them just past golden brown to make sure that they're done all the way through. You'll also need to try and flip these as they cook because they're floating so the top side's not really cooking. And after this, I decided that my first batch was a little bit big, so I went smaller on the hush puppies from here on out. They will cook much faster if they're smaller. And what I do when I spoon these out up against the side of the bowl that they're in, I just kind of try and help make that into a shape and smooth out the edges a little bit. And of course, when they're cooked and I take them out, I let them drain on a paper towel. Now onto these fish. My wife has got on this kick of this Louisiana fish fry with lemon and because happy wife, happy life, that's what we're using today. So I'm taking them out of the buttermilk, placing them in a plate with this batter on it, pressing it down really good, sprinkling it on top, making sure every nook and cranny is covered in this. These fillets are very thin, so they will cook very quickly. Um, about four or five minutes is all you really need to cook these and they should be perfectly golden brown. Uh, I could only fit three or four fillets in at a time, but that gave me enough time to batter the next batch and basically be ready to pull these out of the oil. And once you do, you can just sit them on a paper towel, just like we did the hush puppies and let them cool off just a little bit and they're ready to eat. I seriously had several people tell me that these mud cat fillets actually tasted better than the channel cats, which is mind blowing to me. But at any rate, I appreciate y'all watching and I'll see you next time.